while, you've seen Magnus before, at least in pictures, me thinking about it. I've had him for about five years. Um, he was a gift. Uh, let's just say he didn't come in a box or with instructions. Uh, how much I've gotten done is based on sort of pictures I've seen online and instinct because it's sort of, if you look at it closely, you can figure out how pieces fit. So today I am thinking about working on his base some more because I'm really nervous about working on him proper. So you can't mess up the base that's already messed up, you know? I mean, it's, it's literally rubble. Uh, I put magnets in before, but I have to figure out where I started from. So this is the process of me figuring out where I left off. Magnus is made out of resin, which complicates things, but he's, he's pretty good. There aren't any too many, um, what's the word? Not errors, but uh, he doesn't have any a lot of bubbles. Um, I've already washed him maybe three times when I got him. Let's see. Um, his base has a little bit of thinning, and that's at the very bottom, like someone probably filed off too much, sanded off too much at the bottom, but it really doesn't impact anything. Right now I'm picking out an old magnet, trying to find the least destructive way because his base proper fits into a larger base. The larger base has more rubble as well as the warp fire he commands. And some of those pieces of the bigger base, well, just one really, joins with a magnet to his proper base. And I know that his warp fire base also sort of sits in a bigger base when he's fighting with um, the Primarch of the Space Wolves, but I don't ever plan on getting a Space Wolf <laughs> or any more of uh, big stuff. If I get another big Primark related item, it'll probably be Big Magnus. Though I'm not really thrilled with his face sculpt. I kind of wish it was better. That's why I like Little Magnus. But I'm thinking if I add six inches to his to the existing base, it would make him as tall as Big Magnus. And I think he goes, this one's like a 40 millimeter. Big Madness, I'm not, I looked it up somewhere. Oh, they're just thoughts. I'm not sure what I'll do.
dang it. So that floating piece that just sticks on with a magnet kind of makes his base, his little base, blend in with his big base. That's a boner contention because the following video you will be seeing is me installing it backwards. So bear with me. I do figure it out later.
I guess my eureka moment here is, oh, paint. I can put a little dab of paint, touch the other one, and it'll leave a little mark so I know where to do my drill hole. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. I mean, I deal with so much paint. And I do know how to carve rubber stamps, use rubber stamps. I should have thought about it way earlier than this. That's not easy.
just be fighting with the magnet I installed maybe five years ago. And I decide to carve it out and replace it after fighting with it for a little while. This is me thinking, I saw that, woo, <laughs> but was I mistaken. I'll have to say this is significant because I'm feeling so good about it. I am willing to crazy glue these pieces together. 
is, you know, I had them pinned forever and pinning them was such a pain because I was so afraid of breaking through, but it worked. And now I'm brave enough to glue it all together. And talking about that little piece from earlier, looks like at least I was lucky. The magnet is fine putting in the correct way, which is this is the way is the correct way. Yay me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> How do you like it? As good as it gets. It's been years since he's been trying to come together. Like a lot of work, huh? Just his base. A lot of work, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna glue this together. So it's time for the green stuff. This stuff is um recently purchased, but we all know it's never perfect. And wow, is it messy. I forgot I should have uh, had some water around. Um, it just sticks all over me. And I know that you have to wash your hands thoroughly. I should have worn gloves. But we live and we learn. Yes, that is fresh dollops of crazy glue on the base and on the black base part. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. This is me figuring out I put too much on and I have to peel some of it off. So it's green stuff activated, crazy glue and my bare hands. Boy, ugh.
So all of that debris I end up pushing aside is me carving out the bigger base so the little base can fit in it easier because there was always this little lip it was tripping over and I know better than drilling resin where it can get into the air so it was carefully done with an exacto blade yes I know that little piece is in the wrong way uh, I will figure it out don't worry And there we go again with the ta-da. <laughs> and that's the way it's supposed to be. I had it turned around. I had to do it a couple times because the magnet was not quite right. Now the magnet is right. Which I can't really prove yet. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Snippy snap. So I realized we needed some closure. This is Magnus' container, and he now officially can't fit it because his warp fire. So I think when I'm ready to touch him again, I'll probably glue that in and then put it up with everybody else. Look how awesome they all look. They look so awesome. There's Tree Guy way in the corner. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again. Yay!